the night before Valentine's Day. Twas the night before Valentine's Day and all through the town, children were busy not making a sound. They gathered their scissors, their glitter and glue, pink and red paper and paintbrushes too. They made cards that read, will you be mine? And others that said, my true Valentine. They trimmed giant hearts with stickers and lace and added an arrow in just the right place. Then, then marking the envelopes with each friend's name, they hoped that their friends were doing the same. And when they were done, they slept snug in their beds while visions of candy hearts danced in their heads. The very next morning, it was Valentine's Day. They grabbed all their cards and went on their way. The classroom was decked out in red, pink, and white with balloons and streamers so, so festive and bright. Someone dropped by with a giant bouquet addressed to their teacher who blushed right away. The card was signed from a secret admirer, but everyone knew it was Mr. O'Meyer. They played pin the heart and one goofy toys and girls ran away from kissy faced boys. The art teacher came and painted kids' faces. She put hearts on cheeks in sillier places. At last, it was time to deliver the cards. Look, one for Lisa, Jim, and Bernard. They opened them up, read them, and smiled, and laughed at the cards that were totally wild. Then they ate goodies, sweet cherries and grapes and drank punch with ice cubes and little heart shapes. And just when they thought the party was done, a knock on the door came at quarter past one. when what their wondering eyes should appear, but the principal himself dressed in full Cupid gear, his arrows how golden, his bow curved and tight. The wig that he wore was a comical sight. He spoke not a word and was gone in a minute, leaving a present behind. Now what could be in it? They read Cupid's note as he leapt down the hall. Happy Valentine's Day to one and to all. Happy Valentine's Day to one and to all.